two rotation textbooks. Now, before we rush into the details, then you will all be asking yourself this question. What is teaching textbooks? Teaching textbooks is a lot of fun. It's a math curriculum, an interactive math curriculum. Teaching textbooks teaches, at first it has review from what you've learned, and it, and it goes from math three to algebra. Math three is the youngest course. And they have a large family plan. They have something called a large family plan. I don't even fully understand it. If you want, if you want to understand the large family plan, I suggest you go to teachingtextbooks.com and learn about it. Lectures start like this. It starts, it starts as a big blank screen until you, until you press this. And then it's not usually soundless. We just want me, I just want you to be able to hear me. First it show first it shows you a little bit of the idea and then and then it does interactive problems with you. Okay, now let's wait for it. Is 119 even number? No. If you get it right, it says ping, great, good job or something like that. The lectures go on for about a minute and at the end they say an the usual lecture before you have done the pro the the whole before you started the problem it says ready to start the assignment and then you can click on start to go to practice a and look which of these numbers is not even another one of the interactive problems these interactive problems are a lot of fun that's the end of our lecture our lecture demonstration i hope you'll be around for the next one This is the grade book. And look, it gives you an overview of your lesson, the date it was completed, the raw score, and the percentage score. Now, if it is not completed, it says last work done on that date, blah, blah, blah. And, and correct, incorrect, incomplete. Incomplete means you received a second chance for one of the problems and, and you still haven't done it. Now, let's move on. Now, let's move on to buddies and settings. This is the settings. So you can get no buddy. This is if this is how you nobody is probably what people who think buddy are distracting like. Now, of course, you need to learn about what is a buddy. A buddy is a little cartoony character who you can find over your lessons bar. If you have not selected a lesson, it says click on a lesson below to start. Once you clicked on a lesson, the buddy arrives. Now, this buddy, now, this buddy can, can cheer you on if you get it right or, or, or look sorry for you if you get it wrong. And buddies are also cute to watch doing their little buddy things as you do math. And some people find buddies distracting, so they choose the nobody. Now let's look at the wallpaper. See this desert sunset? It's my wallpaper. You can change that in settings. Army, desert sunset, fabric street. Here's your list of options in math five. Army, desert sunset, fabric street, fisherman, Flowers and fauna, grainy cave, green columns, insects, jumble, periwinkle, ribbons, sports cars, stone pixel, swamp, and teaching textbooks grid. Most people who find buddies and wallpaper distracting will probably choose teaching textbooks grid and nobody. Now you can combine teaching textbooks grid and nobody if you like a plain screen without buddy sounds and hint sparkle and sound if you don't like to be distracted. Now, let's learn about the practices. The practices are, are, are optional. That is why it doesn't say what something out of something when you get a practice right. But here it says 20 out of 20 because I've gotten them all right. Now, the problems are not optional. 
Now let's learn about the parent directory because we've explored all the kids stuff. Now I'm going to open the parent homepage. Wait. Look, you can see my grades and look, you can even edit them. I do not want to edit my grades in case it said in incorrect. <laughs> This is the elite lesson. Try not to do that. Now let's explore the quizzes. This is math three, remember? Not, not, my, not my new math course, my old math course. This is my quiz eight score. And quizzes are something that test your knowledge. They have 24 problems instead of the normal 22 to test your knowledge. Here's your subscriptions. Math five, it's telling me my subscription time and I can click that to pause it. Every time I pause, I have to do so for at least one week. Okay, look at this. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact us. Our toll free telephone line is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time, according to this. The reason I'm showing you the kid version it is that it has something slightly different from the adult version. Look, index. It does these cute little cartoons whenever there's nothing more for this letter. Sorry, nothing more for this letter. And sometimes they do a really funny one with the yelling frog. You wanna see that? It'll just take me a second to find it. That's the yelling frog. <laughs> Sorry, nothing more for this letter. That's the end. Wait a second, we've forgotten something. How do you highlight? Do you see this one? I am going to highlight it. When the circle appears, then I just need to drag it. If I click and hold on this, look, I can change it. And that's the highlighting tutorial. This shows you a highlighting tutorial. And, oops. And of course, you can delete a highlight if you want. Garbage. <laughs> okay, now, now we are finished with our Math 5 A Teaching Textbook Tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I love teaching textbooks because it's really fun and it teaches in the, at the same time. Teaching textbooks is a lot of fun, it's easy to use, and I've learned a lot from it. I'm better at math because of it, and it's really encouraging when you get it right. It also gives hints and second chances, which I find really nice. Here's something I don't like about teaching textbooks. I don't like the computer's reaction when I get something wrong. That's all I don't like about teaching textbooks. And that's the end of our video. Thank you for watching this teaching textbooks tour.